Aquarius, how are you? Welcome to your August 2016 love and general readings. I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right into it. Um, I am using a new deck this month. It's called the Golden Universal Tarot and I hope you like it. So here we go. It is your love energies. Okay, your love reading for August 2016. Ten of Cups, Seven of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Four of Cups, and Six of Wands. Oh, good. Yay. I feel like this is a kind of a, a positive reading. It's nice. Uh, I feel like a lot of the signs I've done readings for this month have been actually quite um, mild, right? Like not really strong messages. I will say that having one major arcana in the very smack dab of the reading is is very uh, telling, okay? Death, meaning transition, uh, transformation, okay? Um, there's probably something that has been brewing for a while and may continue to brew um, into the upcoming months, right? Transition does not happen quickly. Transformation does not happen overnight. Um, what do they say? Rome wasn't built in a day, right? And it wasn't and neither are you. You are a human being after all, and things take time. You learn, you continue to change, and change you are. Now, two sevens, I feel as though Despite opportunity coming in and the blessings that you have, despite those things, all right, there is an air or an essence about you that's feeling a little scared, okay, feeling a little fearful of loss, a little bit of distrusting. And I feel like that distrust is coming from you. It is purely a projection because of the changes that you are going through. Um, as we evolve, we aren't always perfectly happy, upright, lovely, and amazing people. Life goes up, life goes down, things pull up, pull us up, things pull us down. And even though you have a lot to be grateful and happy for, as you evolve, I think you begin to like there's a sense of weakness with the reversal. There's a sense of feeling insecure with the reversal. And like you are protecting your heart. And especially with the seven of wands directly below, that idea of protection and defending uh, comes through even, even that much stronger. Um, now a lot of times I've I've said this in the past. It's been a while since I've seen that with this, seen this with this card, but I'm getting that um, running away with your thoughts, taking your thoughts and literally running away with them and letting them get the best of you. And that's what I mean by the projection because of the transition that you're going through the, the in, from the insecurities, right? When, when you're changing and you don't quite know what you're changing to or where you on your own personal journey are headed, you, you tend to run amok, 
you allow your thoughts to, I mean, it's, it's a very imaginative place. There's a lot of fantasy there. It's like presenting yourself with so many options and so many like a potential outcomes of what it possibly could be that you are, and, and you're just kind of letting your thoughts guide you, but you're not, you don't have solid thoughts, right? And because you're so unsure and there are so many potential outcomes that you feel could happen with your life because of what, what you're dealing with and what you're going through, um, when someone gives you an opinion or an idea or when they try to participate in, in what you have going on, you do become very defensive and you become very closed off because one, it's not their life and who are they to say? And two, it's like how can they possibly know what's best for me? when I don't even know what's best for me and I don't even know where I'm going. I don't even know where I'm headed or where I'm changing to. So you can see the, like the stress and the, that's causing the reversal. Your heart is feeling a little overwhelmed and you are not quite the master of your emotions at this point in time. I think your, your mind and your thoughts are sort of getting the best of you. And um, it is temporary. Please know that it is temporary. This King of Cups is an interesting. This deck, the Kings, I don't like so much the Kings. Um, they're not like, I don't know, as, as a woman, like I prefer the Kings to be more romantic, right? Where... You could see them actually being your king, but these kings in this deck are so, like maybe too realistic, right? Like they are, are just older men and they are all sort of crouched over and you know, kind of slunched over and like they just kind of look a little bit on the mean side. I don't know, I don't know why. And so when they're reversed, it's just, they kind of look a little bit uglier in some way, I, I don't know how to explain it. And, and so the ugliness of the character, uh, it kind of, to me, is reflecting like the ugliness of what you're going through and, and the ugliness of how you're experiencing this change. Um, like you're, you're, you're not embracing it because it might be a little bit unwelcome in your life and you might not have been ready for it. You know, major arcana, they are inevitabilities. They are things that you will go through every circle, every cycle, right? The fool in the world, they bookend these experiences and in between you have all of these, these, what are they called? Like these um, mile markers. <laughs> And at every mile mark, you have to stop and you have a lesson that you need to learn. Some are fast and some are slow. Unfortunately, this is a slow one. But with all of that said, okay, that's just sort of the, the introduction. I mean, there's such beautiful signs of victory and success and love and happiness and support of people around you, despite the fact that you might get annoyed by by them and you might get a little bit on the defensive side and you could have a little bit of, excuse me, a little bit of arguments or something. Despite all of that, there is a joy and there is a blessing and I see success for you in this situation. I'm not getting energy of your partner at all or anyone that you're dating. So it tells me that it's just more about you regardless of your marital status, okay? This change is, will prove to be victorious, will prove to be beneficial for you in love, all right? You might be, if you are in an, an established relationship, a marriage, you live with them, whatever, you could have a little bit of battles, you know, little, little arguments here and there, but I don't see anything so dramatic. Um, 
all in all, you are handling it like a champion. You are balancing, you are maintaining to some degree that connection with your partner. Or again, if you're just dating, you are maintaining the connections that you feel with people um, or you are continuing to seek that out, right? Like this is not a life stopping energy. It's just something you go through. It, it is temporary. It might take a while for you to get through it, but temporary nonetheless. And you don't put your life on hold. Now, some of you might be a little bit lacking in the commitment department where you're not quite ready to solidify your choice, your romantic choice. Um, for those of you in relationships, obviously you've already solidified that choice, but you might be pulling back or holding back on making other types of decisions, you know, in, in terms of anything, you know, next steps, next phases in life, babies, families, um, retirement, buying a house. You might just be refraining and, and feeling like now is not the time um, because I need to make it through this first. I need to feel the security. I need to feel the joy and the happiness within myself. I need to be more like this before I can commit to something. But you will, and you will have success. This is a card of victory, right? Of winning the battle. Kind of we have a knight here coming in from battle and here we have a knight coming in from battle so this situation that you're going through is merely a battle and you are proving to be victorious over that and it's joyful for everyone involved yourself especially but also your partner and the people that you're dating and your family the people around you and I feel like there is a, a sense of enlightenment about you, okay? Like a glow. Ah, see, well, there's the cycle, right? The fool. And there is the moving on and there is, okay, I mean, again, I'm not seeing your partner here, but there is a new beginning in store for you. There is a leap of faith at the end of all of this. There is um, a, even like a new sense of naivete, right? Like you've been uh, like this for a while. And when you get back to your beautiful self, you are now like this and you feel, I know this guy is like on the edge of a cliff about to walk off, you know, like just to really to take that leap of faith. But I more see this person as someone that's frolicking in a meadow. I don't know why, just super happy and the sun is shining and there's warmth on his face. His dog is there and he's just having fun and he just is, is open to new experiences. And, and that's such a beautiful and, and uh, just such a, a calming place to be, but also very, very exciting. And here you are moving away from the rough waters, moving away from these swords, moving away from this transitionary period. Okay. And, and then here you are, you know, I, I do feel like there is a, a overall purpose to all of this, right? And even though you might be very imaginative and have a lot of these different scenarios and all of this, ultimately there is a big picture in mind for you and your life. And, and your transition is to get you prepared for the next part of that journey of your life. And, and I, I don't see you wavering in that at all. So if you are, as an example, if you have just broken up with someone, this would be the getting over them part. 
getting over them, reconnecting with yourself and falling in love with yourself again, which can be very challenging to do. And once you fall back in love with yourself, maybe someone new will enter, but the broken heart in the first place was all for the bigger picture, right? If you want to get married and have babies or just to be in love. So I feel like you've never lost sight of that big picture and everything that you're going through. I do feel that you will see and you will understand very clearly how this sort of plays in and what the purpose of all of this is for. I don't think there's anything sneaky. There's nothing about discovery or realizations, okay? It's just about knowing that you need to get through it. You need to get through the other side. And once you do, you will be back on track, plain and simple, okay? So let me go through and do your general. general reading for August 2016. Okay. Okay, that's top one. Three of Pentacles, beautiful. Seven of Wands, again now Eight of Wands, Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups, Reverse, Eight of Pentacles, Reverse, Nine of Pentacles, Reverse, Page of Cups, and the world again, okay, Death, the Fool, the World, how many times do I need to say it? Cycle, 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 cycle. And this happens once in a while, and when it does, I love it because <laughs> To me, it's like we have all the mess, right? We have all the, the little drama, the little fights, the little, you know, the little attitudes that we get and everything's kind of messy and jumbled and kind of going in different directions. And then all of a sudden everything just sort of whoop, straightens out and the ones are in place, the direction is set everything makes sense and it is moving forward like a force that you could not believe. And I love that because it's, it's such a, um, it's very directive. And when we're in a place where a life feels like it's going on the right track, it allows us to really like leverage. And this is the word that I use with the three of pentacles very often because it's, it's that leveraging that confidence, leveraging that newfound path and, and that, um, that sureness that you feel, that you are sure that you are doing the right thing and you are in the right place at the right time, okay? Three of Pentacles is a card of creativity and design. I am such a firm believer, and, and I know I've said this before, it's so cliche. Uh, I hate when, I used to hate when people say it, but I think it was because I really didn't understand it. Like you can understand the words and you understand what they mean, but until you actually live it and you experience it firsthand, you, you really don't understand it. And the, the thing that I'm trying to say is that you are the designer of your life. You are the creator of your life. And it's such a powerful thing to know that the choices that you make today really do determine the outcome tomorrow. They really, really do. Um, 
deciding to eat one thing over another thing will help you feel better the next day. And when you feel better the next day, you're able to accomplish more. And when you accomplish more, then the next day is even more productive. And so it, it snowballs into more and more and more. And that coupled with the eight of wands, it's just like everything is going well. Everything is easy. And the flow of energy is so, it's like, what's the word? Um, like um like the, when you're in an airplane and the wind is going the same direction so you can go through faster go through easier I don't know what it's called, but it's kind of like that idea. Like there, there's a force behind you, energy is with you, and there's no blockages. The every, and that's a lovely thing to say. I hardly ever get to say that. There's no blockages. The freeway is wide open. Um, you know, so, so take advantage of it. It won't last forever. This can be in any area of your life. It can be in work, it can be in romance, it can be in family, it can be in travel, it can be in just you changing the way you live your life. If you are overweight and you're trying to lose weight, um, now is the time when you will feel motivated to get to the gym, to start eating healthier. Now is the time when you will not just talk about it, like you're going to do it. And the Queen of Wands is such a powerful message here for that as well because she is a go-getter. She is um, the action-oriented action person. Um, now you may be dealing with the emotional things, okay? If there is a breakup of some sort for some of you, if there is something like that, um, that can be the driving force, right? When you break up, you go to the gym and you look hotter than ever. That's kind of how it works. Um, yes, you did eat those 12 boxes of Oreos yesterday, but today you're going to go to the gym, you know, and, and, and that emotional distress and that feeling of like, we have the nine of pentacles reversed here. Um, Eight and nine of pentacles, both reverse. There may be some, I know I said no blockages, but no blockages doesn't necessarily mean that there won't be external challenges. For me, blockages are um, internal obstacles. Okay, your desire and your motivation and your mindset and your spirit and your heart, they're all in the same place. But externally, there might be some things that you need to deal with. So it's great that you have this mindset and that you're in this place because you're going to need that to power through certain things. Um, Eight of Pentacles. There might be, be even be a, and I never say this with this particular card, but I'm sensing a form of boredom with the tasks, right? The day-to-day -day tasks. This is not a person that enjoys the mundane. If I had a Queen of Swords or a Queen of Pentacles, I would say yes, the day-to-day -day things are, are fine. They can handle them, they enjoy those things. But this is a big picture energy. And having to do the small things, do the little tasks and, and attend to all of those those menial duties can feel boring, it can be frustrating, but it is nonetheless something that must be done. Um, the Nine of Pentacles reverse connected with the, um, I kind of am feeling like this row or this column here, excuse me, is a kind of like its own little thing and it has more to do with the emotion, your emotional state. And then we move into the productivity of everything and like the, the, the upcoming, okay, the results. So this is that, that back wind, right? This is the driving force that sort of pushes everything through. And the nine of pentacles reversed, there may be some financial challenge as well, like your financial independence has been compromised in some way. Um, and there, you know, so when you're emotionally distressed a little bit, and when you're financially distressed, those are incredibly fantastic motivators. 
get your butt in gear, let's get the business going, let's get the work going, let's get the sales going, let's get the marketing going, um, because we need to bring in money now. And it will be, um, it will be the motivation that you need. And, you know, things, you know, um, what's this, the, the, the page of cups reverse, there may be some sense or some essence as well of not hearing what you want to hear, not, not um, receiving the offers that you want to offer. But, okay, again, you are the creator, so you have to create those opportunities. Those opportunities aren't going to come from external sources. You can't just sit around and wait for those things to come because they're not. You have to go to work. You have to put your head down. You have to get things done. You need to be productive in order to leverage, in order to get new work, in order to get the new job, in order to get that transfer that you've been looking for. Um, you're going to need to take that trip in order to make those connections. There, there's an indication of people, all right, people and business associates here with this three of pentacles. Um, and, and those connections now are more valuable than ever. And the world, all right, the world is in your hands. I, I do, and I am sensing some travel for some of you, eight of wands and the, um, the world. Some travel somewhere, but I do feel like it is more work related. It is related to uh, new clients and, uh, or connecting with existing clients and, and bringing in new projects. I feel like there's a lot of responsibility on you and you take it, you know, very well in, sh in stride. So, um, it's good. This is one of the most positive readings I think I've had. Here's the Queen of Swords. And the Hierophant and the Wheel of Fortune, another wheel. Surprise, surprise. Actually, I'm not surprised at all. Um, the Queen of Swords, there she is. She's the one that gets down and dirty. Okay, now, it, it's kind of probably gonna be a little bit of a battle for you. And, and I'm not sensing that this is anyone else. Uh, okay, there's there's people here, but this is all you. Three queens, all you. Um, there's gonna be a little bit of an internal battle though. Okay, and that's kind of what I was saying. Like, if, if this was just the Queen of Wands, she would handle these day-to-day -day tasks like a champion, and this would probably be upright like this, like no problem. Um, but you have the battle within you. Uh, I want to get things done. I want to get, I'm just being so, you know, I have so many ideas. I have so many things I want to do. I want to go and blah, 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 blah. But I got to sit down and do this paperwork. I got to send out these invoices. I got to send out this email. I got to make these phone calls. And the fact that you have this force sort of driving everything, um, the usual pleasure that you would get from doing these day-to-day -day things um, and from doing, the, you know, the tasks that need to be done. Okay, I'm not saying that this person enjoys like paperwork or anything like that. It's just you don't have a problem. You don't mind putting in that effort, putting in that energy. Um, but because this is so pushy and this is feeling pressured, okay, in my mind, this, this um, sign does not do so well under pressure a lot of the time, therefore causing the reversal, causing a little bit of sharpness in attitude. It's fine, you know, there's no alienation of anyone. It's just 
um, a little bit of a personality clash within you this month. Nothing so big, nothing so dramatic. Everything's still going to get done. You're still going to be able to, to balance everything. Um, and there could be some significant change for some of you in terms of transitioning, moving, changing companies, starting businesses. When I have the hierophant in reverse i really do sense you know some of you that work at big corporations you are going to branch off and start new businesses um, some of you who are involved in in big churches big organizations you might start thinking about volunteering and doing things um, on a smaller scale where your individual efforts could be more impactful uh, maybe a little bit more hands-on, stepping away from the desk and getting out more in the field. I mean, there is, there's definitely um, a sense of separation or transitioning away from an establishment or an institution of some kind. So just keep that in mind. This is a very talented business owner, the Queen of Wands. She's the best business owner of all the the tarot court cards. Um, so you are going to be very business and financially savvy and smart and, you know, understand all the facets that need to make this business happen. Um, and that business owner side of you is sort of clashing with that business maintainer side of you. Um, but that's, Fine, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just something that you need to use to your advantage and to leverage accordingly into bigger and better opportunities. So, good things all around for you. Super, super excited for you. Uh, wow, a good reading. A lot of the other readings sort of started a little boring, to be honest with you. A little main, mundane, a little, um, well, boring. <laughs> from what I can say. So anyway, I wish you nothing but the best. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you um, for all of your support. And uh, that's it. I will see you next month. Thanks.